Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. The argmax function in NumPy is used to find the indices of the maximum values along a specified axis of an array. This can be quite useful in various applications, such as finding the position of the highest score in a data set or identifying the peak value in a time series. Hashtag 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 what is argmax? Function, numpy.argmax, a, axis equals none, out equals none. Parameters a, input array. Axis, by default, the index is over the flattened array. If an axis is specified, it returns the indices of the maximum values along that axis. Out, optional output array to store the result. It must have the same shape as the expected output. Returns, an array of indices of the maximum values along the specified axis. Hashtag 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 basic usage. 11D array, in a one-dimensional array, argmax returns the index of the maximum value. 22D array, in a two-dimensional array, you can specify the axis, 0 for columns, 1 for rows, to get the indices of the maximum values along that axis. Hashtag 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 example code. Let's go through some examples to see how argmax works. Hashtag 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 example 1, 1D array. Output. Hashtag 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 example 2. 2D array. Output. Hashtag 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 explanation of the outputs. In the 1D array example, the index of the maximum value, 5, is 3. In the 2D array example, the maximum values in each column are found in the last row, indices are 2, 2, 2. The maximum values in each row are at index 2, the last column, for all rows. Hashtag 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 conclusion. The argmax function is a powerful and efficient way to retrieve the indices of maximum values in an array, whether it's one-dimensional or multi-dimensional. This can be particularly useful in data analysis, machine learning, and many other fields requiring numerical computations.